Welcome back. The race for St. Petersburg's next mayor is turning into the Battle of the Ricks. Incumbent Mayor Rick Kreisman will face off against the man who held his job for eight years. That's Rick Baker. With early poll numbers showing Baker opening a 13-point lead, what will Mayor Kreisman do to close the gap? I recently had a chance to sit down with Mayor Kreisman for our Sunday one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, what do you say to voters who supported Rick Baker twice? Um, why would they want to vote for you this time around? Well, I think it's uh, really looking at what's happened in the last four years. You look at everything that we've been able to accomplish in the last four years, all the things that were kind of stuck that we've been able to move the needle on, things like uh, investing in our Southside CRA, which is largest CRA in all of Pinellas County, and we're doing it differently in how we're investing those dollars, uh, investing instead of just in, in buildings and infrastructure, investing in people, and seeing the results of those investments where we're seeing poverty starting to go down at a, a rate higher than the national average. Let's go ahead and talk about a number of issues that, uh, that Baker has already called you out on. Not paying enough crime, uh, to enough attention to crime in the Midtown area, the city's sewage dumping problem, spending too much on marketing. How do you respond to all of that? Well, I, I look at our police department and I'm in incredibly proud of the men and women that serve us and the relationship that they've been able to build over the last four years with the community because of that relationship because of a chief like Chief Holloway, who's mm -hmm. brought in a program like Park, Walk, and Talk, we are solving more crimes than we used to. We're not having the turnover we used to. Ten years ago, uh, two, two officers were leaving the department every month. There was a, there was a rotation uh, with a revolving door. We have officers coming from other departments into the city. Crime is being reduced by 6% overall, 26% violent crime. Okay, so let's though, talk about the city sewage problem. That's mm -hmm. on a lot of people's minds. Your concerns, your concerns about uh, Baker attacking you on that. Well, it's on my mind, too, because it's a system that uh, for years, certainly for at least the last 10 years. When while the, Baker was mayor? Uh, uh, while Baker was mayor, before Baker, after Baker, the city spent money on our system, but we didn't spend enough. If we had spent enough, we wouldn't have had the problems that we've had in the last 18 months. My administration, working in partnership with city council, we're committed to fixing the system, investing $305 million over the next five years, and then continuing to invest after that because we can't declare victory at that point we have to keep investing okay so let's move on right now we'll talk about the raise and as part of your forever baseball campaign you rolled out a bold new plan last month to build a new stadium um, and redevelop the area at Tropicana Field some say uh, that's really not realistic and they want to know how you're gonna pay for all that is it realistic how are you going to pay for it? Yeah, I think we in Pinellas County, we have some opportunities here countywide and in the city uh, to fund a stadium in ways that across the Bay are a little bit more challenging. Having the TDC funding available, that extra percent, which they don't have in Hillsborough County, that's that's a, a between 150 and $200 million standing alone, that pot of money. In addition, you've got the development rights on that site. I've been very clear about this. I've told my taxpayers, we're not going to raise millage rates one penny in order to pay for a stadium, we think there's ways of funding it without doing that. Another flashpoint that we've always uh, been talking about, we've been talking about it for years now, and that's the pier. Uh, the current estimate comes in around $60 million, and that's with 100, uh, I should say $14 million uh, worth of improvements over the original plan. So is it worth it for taxpayers? That's the that's the question. So the pier, first off, is in budget. There are two parts of the of the pier district. There's the pier itself, and there's the waterfront master plan first phase. Both of those are in budget. The fourteen million dollars that you're referring to, uh, we're looking at maybe 10 of it to do some enhancements that we think might be something that the city would want to do down the road. It's cheaper to do them now and it's more efficient to do them now. But even if we don't do them, we're going to have a, a, a fantastic pier that this community is going to be proud of. Let's talk about uh, St. Pete Pride. Uh, it's just around the corner and you've yes. criticized uh, uh, Rick Baker for not embracing the LGBT community. Um, you clashed with Pride organizers when the plan surfaced to move the parade to the waterfront from Grand Central you've been threatening to withhold money from the event. Uh, so, and not everyone, obviously, uh, including people obviously from the LGBTQ community, is, is happy with that. Well, we've we've reached what I think is a great compromise in working with St. Pete Pride uh, to come up with a solution uh, to the idea of moving it from where the, the parade was born uh, to a portion of the weekend being in downtown St. Petersburg. It's something that Pride had wanted to try. You know, it impacts the businesses that are in the Grand Central District that have 
historically benefited from Pride. So we're going to try it and see how it works. But it's an incredible event. It has an incredible economic impact on the city of St. Petersburg. And it's something that every mayor should be supportive of. I certainly always have been. I'm going to walk in the parade again, and I'm going to celebrate Pride. We're going to raise the flag over City Hall. And you said every mayor should be supportive of. We know that, uh, that Rick Baker uh, was not necessarily on board, if you will. Um, your thoughts on that? Well, you know, if you're the mayor, you're the mayor for the whole city, for everyone. And, you know, we have a vision statement of St. Peter being a city of opportunity where the sun shines on all. That includes everyone, no matter who they love. Uh, and if we're really going to be that city, you, you get behind the entire community. Uh, the LGBTQ community is a big part of the city of St. Petersburg. And so uh, I'm a big supporter of what they're, what they're doing and of pride. Mayor Rick Kreisman of St. Petersburg, thanks for being here this My morning. My pleasure. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. All right, that was my recent one-on-one -on -one with Mayor Kreisman. We've invited Republican candidate for Mayor Rick Baker to sit down for his own one-on-one, -on -one, and so waiting to hear back and bring that to you in the coming weeks. In the meantime, we'll be right back.